Now, look, I don't know how they did this, Ross, but you've been on stage <laughs> with two rock and roll legends. I know, the Rock and Roll Dream Tour. This was an amazing moment for me. Uh, last year, it was a big sellout concerts all over the UK with Roy Orbison with a huge orchestra. This year, it really is the Rock and Roll Dream Tour. Uh, Bass Holograms have put this together. You've got Buddy Holly, the late, great Buddy Holly, Roy Orbison with a live band with live singers and the holograms. And it is so wow. lifelike, it is unbelievable. Uh, the tour just kicks off in the next few days. You can see it all over the UK. Also next year, Whitney Houston will be on tour. And, you know, these tours, they've got all the backing of the states, of the family. Some of the families go and see it, and it's just unbelievable the reaction from them when they see the loved ones back there on stage. Uh, I've got to say, it was a dream come true for me. Check this out. I have never been so nervous before going on stage. Should I wear these glasses? Should I wear these ones? That's not what I'm nervous about. I'm about to go on stage and perform with Roy Orbison and Buddy Holly. I'm not kidding you. It's a world exclusive. Here we go. Martin, this has got to be like a childhood dream come true to be the musical director of this. It's actually a thrill when they asked me. I didn't know what to expect. But of course, we all know Buddy Holly and Roy Orbison and all the hits and everything. And yes, to, to be arranging them, to work with them and everything has been awesome. <laughs> One of the challenges is actually making them live, because when you see them in Buddy Holly and obviously you see them on TV live, they do the songs differently, but we're trying to get the, the live feeling, how they would do it live, but also respecting the original song that everybody would know. Obvious question. How do you do it? Obviously technology. Um, the big game changer for us uh, is the ability now to tour holograms. In the past that was something that's very difficult to do. The audience has no idea how we put the holograms on stage because the system is invisible. And that allows them after five minutes to really just get into the whole show and forget it's a hologram. <laughs> It's a lifelong ambition. It will never ever happen again. I'm going to go on stage and sing with Buddy Holly. Any advice? Um, be cool. Make sure that you make friends with the band. That's always good <laughs> advice, but most will enjoy it. OK, buddy, let's do it. You're still not going to tell me how it's done, are you? I want everyone to go and see the show not knowing how it's done because that moment when they see the hologram come out for the first time is a wow moment that I do not have the right to take away from them by telling them how it's done. Oh, wow, you're in your element there. That is remarkable that they can do that. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, absolutely. Some <laughs> of the stars have got lined up. You'll never believe it. Incredible. But as I said, Whitney next year, that's going to be great too. But that one kicks off in the next few days.